Hello, everybody. My name is Edgar Melendez with Data People Technologies, here to talk about some of the new features in Convo 11 SP22. There is a short video to highlight new add ons to the Convo Command Center. Now, uh, Convo can automatically manage the state of media agents. So if we go to uh, Manage Systems, Maintenance, KPI Base Media Agent. The media agent must be part of a shared partition data database. You can set the media agents of a storage policy to be automatically enabled, disabled, and restarted based on key performance indicators. Setting media agents to be automatically managed based on KPIs increase the job success rates. The Combo software collects KPI information from media agents every hour and calculates KPIs based on the number of jobs that are pending, failed, successful, and running for 30 or more days. The use of CPU and memory. If the KPIs for a media agent indicate a problem, the software automatically disables the media agent and routes jobs to the next available media agent for that same storage policy. When the KPIs of for the disabled media agent are back to normal, the software automatically enables the media agent. One more thing that we uh, added to Command Center was the way that Commvaults uh, shows the servers. So if we look at the managed servers, for example, now you have this little green light that will tell you when uh, check readiness is successful for those clients. And you can see a red light when the machine is offline. So now you don't have to run the check readiness report to make sure your backups are going to work on the weekend. You can actually see them right on the console. Another uh, thing that I noticed was the dashboards. Uh, you can always customize your dashboards, even on the Service Pack 20. On SP22, they changed the location where you actually clone or edit your customized dashboard. It's pretty easy to do. let you actually select and move things around that, for example, I don't, I don't need this, right? But I want to see uh, my uh, laptops in here. My uh, site replication. And you can move these things around, right? I think that's, uh, is, is available on SP20, but now they're moved to a different uh, location in the top right corner. So I can save this. Another cool feature is when uh, you're trying to do a backup and you have so many servers, but you want to be right under that server name to kick off a backup. So forward slash backup is the command. So this is my VM. And then I can kick off a full incremental synthetic full backup on it. The other thing you can do is restores, for example. We will bring anything named Azure to you, and then you can actually go and, and, and do your restores. I think that's very quick, and uh, especially for large environments, is very easy to navigate. Uh, as you know, in uh, Command Center, there is no way to manage storage policies that were created in the Java console. Uh, you can only manage plans. 
right? So Combo came with a new uh, application. Uh, it's an app to convert stores policies to plans. It's also available for SP20. You will need to log into a Combo store to download the workflow. It involves several steps and professional services are recommended since not all schedules are converted and we need to basically identify those schedules and adjust as necessary. Uh, another cool feature that came is from uh, disaster recovery. So when you're replicating VMs, for example, and you set up uh, replication and failover groups, now with a click of a button, you can actually fail over those VMs with a single button. It just takes minutes just to bring that VM online on your DR site. I hope you enjoy this video and let us know how Data Field can help you achieve your data protection goals. Until next time.